Let's convert this polar equation into a Cartesian equation. Here we have r equals to 6 sine theta minus 2 cosine theta. These are the things that we have to know and remember, and these are the things that we have to use. As you can see, we have sine theta, cosine theta right here. And we can plug in these two things into here and here. Let's do that first. So we have r equals to the 6 stays the same. But then for sine theta, I will put in y over r. And then we minus the two states the same. Cosine theta is x over r. OK? So this is the first thing that we should do. And then you see that this is the equation that has fractions. We have y over r and then x over r. How about let's multiply everything by r to get rid of the fraction? So let's do that. Multiply this by r, multiply this by r, and then multiply this by r. So you see that we get r squared equals to this r and that r cancel, 6y minus this r and that r cancel, minus the 2x, like this. And then what's r squared? We know r squared is the same as x squared plus y squared. So I can plug this in here. This is going to be x squared equal x squared plus y squared equals to 6y minus 2x. And technically, we are done. But we can do better because I cannot really describe how does this equation look like in the Cartesian equation world, right? And this is how we continue. Let's move this and that to the left-hand side. So um, let's add a 2x on both sides. And that's minus a 6y on both sides, OK? Altogether, we see that we have x squared plus 2x. And then let's leave a space. Continue by putting down plus y squared minus 6y and leave a space equals to 0. And why do I have to leave a space? We want to complete the square. This is x squared plus 2x. Let's add a magical number. That magical number is plus 1. How did I get the plus 1? Well, to work this out, what we do is we take the look of the coefficient of the x, which is the 2. I do, um, I'll just write it down here for you guys. I do 2 divided by 2, and then I square that. This is the magical number that I uh, add. So this is 1. Of course, I have to do the same thing on the right-hand side. And then let's also complete the square for the y. So uh, I'm going to look at this number, which is negative 6 divided by 2, and then square that. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. You square negative 3, you get positive 9. Then you add 9 on both sides, like this. All right, so now let me continue right here. This is a perfect square x plus 1 square. This is now also a perfect square. So we add y minus 3 square. And on the right-hand side, 1 plus 9 is 10. And we know this much better because now I can tell you this, this, this is the equation for a circle in the Cartesian coordinate system, right? So we know this is a circle, and then we know the center of the circle is going to be at what? The x value of the center is negative 1. It's the opposite sign right here. So negative 1, comma, positive 3. Likewise, do the opposite. And then we also have to tell you the radius. The radius of this circle, you look at this number, but don't look at 10 as 10. Look at 10 as square root of 10 and then square. The radius of the circle is square root of 10. OK? So this is how you will describe this polar equation in the Cartesian equation world. That's it.